Hello and welcome to this section of the Calculus 1 Derivative Tutor. Uh, this section we're going to continue working problems with related rates, uh, expanding our skills and just building our confidence in how to handle these problems. So in this section we'll work a few more problems uh, with related rates, going from the problem statement all the way through to the answer. The general technique is going to be exactly the same as what we've done in the last section, so don't worry too much about it. It's just that, just like with any other type of problem in algebra or geometry or whatever, there's sort of the easier problems that you can sort of see how to solve a little bit clearer, and then there's the medium problems, and then there's the harder problems. So as you go, there's a progression, and these problems are going to be a little bit more involved. So the, they'll, they'll still follow the same procedure, so don't forget that. It's just that as we begin to do it, we'll see that we're going to have to solve for a few more things before we can actually get all the way to the final answer. So definitely don't uh, throw away what we've learned before, expand on what we've done before. That's all we're doing here. So the first problem says we have a cone, uh, you know, like an ice cream cone, and this cone is six meters in height. This cone is six meters in height and has a radius on the base of two meters. And so it's flipped upside down like an ice cream cone, two meters, six meters high, okay? Water is entering and flowing into this cone and it rises at a rate of one half meter per second inside the cone as it rises up. How fast is the water being poured in um, when the water has a depth of two meters? When the water has a depth of two meters. So there's a lot of things here to understand to make sure we quite get. There's a little bit of interpretation uh, that you'll get as you work more of these problems to know how to tackle it, but the first thing that we always, always do is draw a picture. So let's do that right now. So we have a, a cone, right? So let's go ahead and draw ourselves a cone, first step. So here we have a cone, right? Draw it like this. Do your best to kind of draw it as a sort of a, a nicely shaped cone. And the height of this cone, so we'll just kind of do some curly braces to help us out. Six meters, all right? And then the radius of this cone goes from the middle out to the edge, and I'm just gonna draw a little arrow here, uh, is two meters. And by the way, it's good not to clutter up your diagram. See, if you try to draw two meters, in the, the, the word, the 2M, inside of here, it's going to clutter up your diagram. So draw some arrows. Get your labeling away from your drawing. It's a good habit to get into anyway. Uh, this is pretty simple, but certainly it can help you. All right, now, since we have colored markers, we'll have some water in blue. And so here's like a faucet, you know, and so here's water coming down here, and you know, water is kind of coming into the cone, and we'll just draw like a little level inside of here, right? So water is going in, and as you might think, if the cone is empty, the water goes all the way to the bottom, and then as time goes on, the water level rises, 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 all the way up until we get to the top of the cone. So what we're told is water enters the cone at one half and rises at a rate of one half meter per second. Okay, right there, when you see a, a speed of any kind or something per second, you need to think, well, that's a derivative of something. So put that at the back of your head. How fast is the water being poured in when the water has a depth of two meters? So eventually this water is going to have a depth of two meters, right? So it's six meters tall, so somewhere around here is gonna be two meters. At that moment, we're interested in something to do with the water. So let's just kind of take it one step at a time. What do we know? Uh, we know that uh, dH dt is one half because it's meters per second. Now, what am I talking about H? What we're going to do here is construct a new diagram. Original drawing with all the labeling on there. Let's go ahead and draw another version of the cone. This version is not 